What's up, my people? I hope you're ready to ease into this week because I'm here with the first of two editions of Swagbucks Live, the mobile game show where you win some big money from the comfort of your phone. What's up, friends? I'm Deshola by Logan, but if you call me Shody Mac or the Swag King, I'll answer to either of those two. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool with that. Now, look, I'm here to take you to the promised land of the grand prize. So how? What do we have for them today? What is it that we have for them? Do you see that? Yes, we have $500 for you, which you can win by correctly answering 10 multiple choice trivia questions about any and everything, all right? Now look, if you're patient, you'll be rewarded because I have a bonus SB for you later on in the game, all right? Make sure to be on the lookout for an SB icon in the top left-hand corner of the screen and get those questions right. Even if you're eliminated, you can still win them. But look, what do I tell you all the time? You have to claim them after the game to keep them. And I want you to keep them. And I know you want to keep them too, okay? Also, guess what, people? Second Chance Week is back. Yes, Second Chance Week is back. That means that for any game you play between now and Thursday, you'll get a free rejoin, which will be added to your account before next week's game begin, all right? The more games you play, the more free rejoins you'll get. It's that simple. So if I was you, I'd be playing every single game every single day. Okay, you got it? All right, we now have 12,820 and counting of you guys in the game. The number just keeps going up. That's what I like to see. And uh, we're ready to go, which means that the comments are going to go. And now I am going to do our first question. So here we go. Question one. What Italian city is famous for its leaning tower? Florence, Pisa, or Rome? Famous for its leaning tower. All right, so it wasn't meant to lean the way it does, by the way. That happened because the tower was actually built on soft ground, and it started leaning by the time builders got to the third story of Pisa's tower. Tower of Pisa is the answer. 85.4% of you guys got the one right, and you knew that the Tower of Pisa was the correct answer. Now, look, a lot of you guys chose Rome. You guys thought it was the Tower of Rome, or, or you guys thought Rome was it, but it's actually the Tower of Pisa. So, you know, just read, a lot of you guys are already rejoining, okay? I, I see you, over a thousand of you guys have rejoined because you're like, uh-uh, not in the first question. I'm not getting out, I don't blame you, all right? I do not blame you. So, you guys ready for the next question? All right, here's question number two. What NFL quarterback has been in the most Super Bowls? Tom Brady, Terry Bradshaw, or Johnny Unitas? The most Super Bowls. All right, so John Elway was the record holder for a while with five Super Bowl appearances, but he's since been surpassed by the nine appearances and six wins of Patriots quarterback Tom Brady. What a beast, nine. 10,080 of you guys got the one right, and you knew that Tom Brady was the correct answer. Tom Brady is killing the game, all right? You know I use that a lot, but he's killing the game. He's been in the NFL for 19 years, all right? He's over 40, and he's still doing his thing. He's showing you guys, like, look, age ain't nothing but a number. You know what I'm saying? Just like that number that you guys have. 10,008 of you got it right who know all about them. All right. Let's move on to the next question. Question number three. What awards are given out for excellence in film? Grovers, Big Birds, or Oscars? What awards are given out for excellence in film? All right, so the awards given out by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences didn't have a name until it was remarked by an Academy librarian that the statue resembled her Uncle Oscar. She's like, Uncle Oscar, is that you? Oscars is the answer. 10,643 of you guys got that one right. And I like that one. 98.9% .9 of you guys got that one right. That's the highest one we've had so far. That means a lot of you know all about the Oscars or the Academy Awards, whichever you want to call it, you know? All right. Moving on to the next question, question four. According to his theme song, who does whatever a spider can? The tarantula, Spider-Man, or Captain America? Is he strong? Listen, blood, bud. He's got radioactive blood. Can he swing from a thread? Well, just look overhead. 
Hey, Lot, he is the Spider-Man. You guys know that song. Spider-Man is the answer, of course. He's the only one that can do what a spider can. 10,369 if you guys got that one right. And you knew that Spider-Man was the correct answer. I love Spider-Man, so I'm very glad that you all got that one right. So many of you guys knew that. Uh, Spider-Man is my favorite superhero, all right? I'm not a superhero person, but Spider-Man is the one, okay? If you're gonna do it, Spider-Man. All right, let's move on to the next question. Question five. Based on his old work, com old commercial work, what cereal might you see Neo eating in the Matrix? Corn flakes, Frosted Flakes, or Raisin Bran? What cereal? So like many actors, Keanu Reeves did commercials to help pay the bills, and he once played a dancing caterer who couldn't help but sample the merchandise which was Corn Flakes. Corn Flakes is the answer, 4,164 of you guys got that one right and you knew that it was Corn Flakes, but I gotta say, a large amount of you guys did not get that one right. Over 5,500 of you guys got it wrong, but it's fine, it's fine, it happens. A lot of you are rejoining. Uh, already over 3,100 have rejoined, 2,300 for free. That's what I like to see. That means you're doing what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? So good for all of you for doing that, but a lot of you guys uh, did choose Frosted Flakes too. So it was it was it was between Frosted Flakes and Corn Flakes, but it was the one without the sugar. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the next question. Question six: How many moons does the Earth have? Two, one, or four? How many moons? All right. So look, we may not have as many fancy moons as some other places in our solar system, but you get what you get and you don't get upset because we only need one moon, all right? One is the answer. We have one and we have the best moon ever. 6,872 of you guys got the one right and you knew that one was the correct answer, all right? I, I Every time I, I think about this question, I think of Rihanna, shine bright tonight. You're beautiful like diamonds in the sky. Just like our game, right? Beautiful like diamonds in the sky. <laughs> um, all right, you guys. On to the next question. Here is question seven. What initials did the rapper Hammer put in front of his name? MC, B-O, or IV? Now, a lot of rappers use these initials, which stands for Master of Ceremonies, since they were always in charge of your good time. MC is what I was looking for. 6,894 of you guys knew that it was MC Hammer, and you're like, can't touch this. Do, 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 can't touch this. Do, 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 My, 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 oh, next question. All right, we have bonus SB with this one. Two bonus SB for question number eight. Which famous dog from children's books is big and red? Snoopy, Garfield, or Clifford? Big and red. And famous. All right, so everybody loves him, but he's just living in a world that's the wrong size for him. You know, it's the world's fault, which creates some misadventures for your pal and mine, Clifford. Clifford is the answer. 6,769 of you got that one right. And you knew that Clifford was the correct answer. A lot of you are fans of Clifford. I used to love Clifford when I was young. I used to watch it on PV. Was it Saturdays? I used to watch it all the time. Anytime I could watch Clifford, I was there. What's up, Clifford? How you doing? Moving on to the next question. Uh, here's question nine worth two bonus SB. What flavor was introduced by Baskin Robbins to commemorate the moon landing on July 20th, 1969? Honey almond, lunar cheesecake, or very, very strawberry? Honey almond, lunar cheesecake, or very, very strawberry? All right, so the ice cream was green cheesecake ice cream with a special Apollo 11 marshmallow ribbon and it's been brought back a few times since it first debuted. It sounds so good, and it is Lunar Cheesecake. Lunar Cheesecake is the answer. 6,368 of you guys got that one right. You made it this far, and guess what? You're ready for our final question, AAA. Mm -hmm. You guys know about that cheesecake. Isn't cheesecake ice cream so good? Bomb, right? Now look, you guys, if you had fun playing this game, tell your friends all about it. Post to social media with the hashtag SBLive and include your share link. Now look, if people sign up with it, you'll get a free rejoin, like the one you're getting just for playing this game. Okay? Okay.
You got it? All right. Also, don't go anywhere, people. I've got another game for you today with a $1,000 grand prize at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time, and you'll get a free rejoin just for showing up again. See you there. All right? See you there. Now, parents, make learning fun for your kids by introducing them to ABC Mouse, an early learning academy for children ages 2 through 8. With over 9,000 activities, kids can learn reading, math, science, and art in colors while having fun. Try out a 30-day free trial and you'll get 400 SB for enriching the lives of your kids. You have to be a US player to qualify. Make sure to check it out after the game. We've all seen those commercials, you know, ABC Mouse, so check it out, all right? Let's take a deep breath. Sometimes it's needed, you know what I'm saying? It is a Monday. Sometimes Mondays are harder, that's what people say. All right, question 10, worth two bonus SB. Which of these scientists is credited with inventing the telephone? Thomas Edison, Alexander Graham Bell, or Nikola Tesla? So inventor Elijah Gray was also working on a talking telegraph, but his lawyer got to the patent office too late. And the credit in patent went to none other than Mr. Alexander Graham Bell. Alexander Graham Bell is the answer. 6,000 in one of you knew that answer and you're splitting a grand prize. Come on now, what's up to all 6,001 of you winners? That's a lot of you. Uh, hello, Bella LS101. Hey, Ann Branning. Hey, Grandma35. Hey, Bra Pickle. Hey, LaKay. Hey, Coffee Queen Jen. Jangaroo, Garverson, and Dragonfly77, to name a few. You're all getting your prize in the form of points called SB, which you can redeem for PayPal Cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and literally hundreds of other places. That was a fun game, right? That was fun, the game is done. But don't go too far because I am going to be back with another one for you in a few. All right. So I hope you all had a good time. I'll see you soon. I'm Deshola by Logan, and this is Swagbucks Live. Be right back.